assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today i will show you practically on this construction site how to how to provide extra bars okay uh, in the junction between beam and column as you can see guys this is the column this is the other column as you can see that one is the other column so now this is the junction between beam and column remember guys all the load when applied on the slab so slab transfer the load to the beam and beam transfer the load to the column okay so column transfer the load to the foundation or footing you can say so therefore this is the junction between beam and column so this place should be stronger okay so if this place is or this junction is not stronger so you will face more problems so uh, here you can see uh, this is the the junction so here we have maximum shear stresses compared to that place because this is the mid here we have maximum bending moment here we have maximum shear stresses to avoid shear stresses means to avoid cracks so here uh, you have lot of chances for failure okay so therefore we will provide the extra bar so how we can provide the extra bar as you can see this is the junction so this is the mid of the column so here when you want to provide the extra bar so uh, if you want or not so this is important to provide so first of all I will tell you so this is the mid okay so how you will provide as you can see guys from here you will start the distance uh, so from that place okay so now this is the L total length okay from one column to other column this is the total length so the total length should be divided by 4 so to the L by 4 distance we will provide extra bar okay how as you can see guys we have here at the mid when we come to the mid we have three steel rods one two three steel rods we have okay but from here if you see uh, to l by four distance so here guys you can see uh, we have six steel rods one two three four five six steel rod it means they provided the extra bar so this is the important uh, point important place to provide extra bar uh, to the distance of l by four as you can see guys so from here to this mid you can see this is the extra bar again from here to here you can see this is the extra bar as you can see okay so these are extra bars okay because we have the maximum space here so therefore uh, it's l by 4 is maximum uh, compared to that one okay because uh, that uh, space is uh, minimum compared to this one okay now guys you can see so this is the junction on the junction we should provide the extra rods extra steel rods to avoid shear stresses when you avoid shear stresses so it's mean uh, there isn't any uh, chances for uh, cracks okay you will not see any failure in the future as you can see guys from there you can see the extra rods look at here so you can see the extra rods but here you can see this is the bent up bar also so on this side there is the bent up bar but there uh, the space is uh, uh, not maximum so in uh, in this case we have here extra steel rods three steel rods we have extra okay on the junction which dia is 16 millimeter as you can see clearly okay so guys you can see this is the junction okay so from the junction on each side l by 4 we have extra steel rods to avoid shear stresses to avoid cracks to finish the uh, failure chances okay guys hope this video can help you guys Also, you can see here the extra steel rods because this is the junction between beam and column. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.